random blow. Okay. <laughs> random blow. <laughs> okay. So in this video, I'm going to unbox the game capture card made by Avermedia. It's compatible with Apple and Windows. Basically, the capture card is where as you can record PS4, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, your older games like Super Nintendo and so forth that has the analog and anything that has the HDMI onto an external hard drive or an internal hard drive that I will show you. Um, I heard a lot of rant about it. I finally got it for $162 on Amazon. I have Prime membership, so I didn't. I, w I, w I was able to uh, get it in two days. Right? So let's open it up. So it's like it has like a card. It, the cardboard has like a plastic feel to it. Every media. The version of this, I believe, it doesn't have the version of it on it. I don't see it. But I believe it's the 285C285. I believe so. But I'll have the, the link the link in the description. Alright. So we open it up. And the reason why I have this made by what is this? E Tech. E Tech City. This is a split up. HDCP uh, protection. It, uh, it stops that when it comes to like the PS4 because the PS4 has this problem whereas when you try to capture with it direct, it has the HDCP protection thing going on and this stops that. It allows you to capture from the PS4. Alright, so it has a nice, a nice little plastic over it. In the back, you can see the, com the, the connectors. We have component for videos, we have the, including the analog and so forth. Two, two HDMIs, one, one is inside, and then the other one is out. You have a LAN Ethernet connector, and then you have the power. Pretty solid, looks nice. Feels pretty sturdy, has a nice weight to it. Has the other media logo right to the top right it says game capture hd2 all right look nice and in the front here we have the usb we have a mic slot and we have a headphone slot we have indicator lights for hdmi and ypb pr don't know what that is we have a record button we have a power button i presume that this is the signal pod for the remote okay underneath Underneath we have the space where a SATA drive goes. SATA 2.5, regular laptop drive goes right in here. Pretty solid, nice, nice. Cool. Take the plastic off. It has a nice it has like a, a nice matte black in the middle with the edges and like, uh, what do you call it, uh, metallic. Like shine to it. It's a little manual. It has a little manual. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Cool. Take with that. Oh wow, oh wow, oh wow. It comes with its own HDMI cable, and that is impressive. That is impressive. It gets a few stars just for that. Just for that, it gets a, it gets a few stars. Has a little remote. Pretty. Uh, it's a cheap feeling remote, but you know, fits well in the hand. Pretty small, but it feels it feels pretty okay. Pretty okay. As the AAA batteries comes with some batteries. <laughs> I don't know what this is. 
Ah, power supply. Right? So this is the power supply. And it comes with it comes with the connector. I see that you can change it, I guess, for whatever part of the world you go in. And that's pretty cool. So you can just get it connected to put on it. That's nice. That's a nice thing to it. You have the manual. Uh, nobody reads those. Now, the the unboxing of the E-Tech City. I got this on Amazon for I think about less than twenty dollars, about fifteen to twenty dollars, somewhere around there. I'll, I'll put the description as well. It has a power cord as well, and that's pretty much it right here. Has a little book. No one reads to it. Comes in a little vinyl-like plastic cotton thing going on and it's pretty solid and like strong metal wow I thought it's gonna be made out of plastic but it's pretty pretty nice pretty nice so you have the e -Tech City logo here we have the one times two HDMI splitter so we have the power we have the HDMI input so your PS4 would be inputted here and then on the other side your one wire will go from your PS4 to the Avro Media input and the other one goes to your TV and then this the Avro Media output no this will go once this goes into your input and goes and you have a your HDMI goes to the Avro Media input. You output to the TV from the Avro Media. All right. Because I see this has a output as well, but I but that's the way you do that. All right. So I'm gonna show you a video and see how it works. <laughs> 